Hello, it's Johnny Zapka here with Online Preschool Teacher. I'm so glad that you're here. Okay, I have been getting a lot of questions about how I create my props. So this is gonna be just an overview of how I do that. And I'm gonna actually use my props from bubble, 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 pop. Okay, so what I do first is I go into Canva. So I'm gonna show you how I go into Canva and create that, all right? All right, everyone, so here's how I created my 2D props for my Bubble Bubble Pop. So if you have not used Canva yet, I highly recommend it. So in this, to, in this today, I'm just gonna show you how I would create something really quick if I needed props. I will go in depth on other ways that I use Canva, but for right now, I'm just gonna show you how I use Canva to create my 2D props that I used within the Bubble Bubble Pop song and in my preschool. All right, so I'm gonna click on create a design. So you can go in here and you will have different kind of kinds of things that you can do. I have one, like if I click on custom design, I had in here some different settings of things I was working on that I needed specific, but you're just gonna do like a sheet of paper. So I usually do 11 by eight and a half. And then that opens this up. Now you can change that size. If you click on resize and I switch these around, it's gonna make it portrait. Anyway, I'm gonna be in here and let's say I'm doing the fish. So if I go over here and click elements, you can see that I recently picked these fish, but you can click on the elements, which is basically pictures, um, you know, it's, it's different things. So there's backgrounds, there's flowers, nature, like whatever you can imagine, you can just type something in. So I literally just typed in fish. Okay, so you can have different fish that show up. All right, so I wanted to start with a blue fish. I got very specific. So I typed in blue fish. And that is where I found my fish. If you click See so if you notice this says pro, because I pay for the pro version, I can click on this and it will go over. If you have not paid for the pro version using the um, version that is free, then it says free for Canva Pro. All right, you can add it to a folder. You can make a folder with it. You can organize all of it, see more like this or add it to like your favorites. Okay, so that is what this is. So I, went ahead like this is free you can if you hover it'll say free um there used to be a little icon that would show if it was not free and i think because i pay for this it doesn't show me the icon anymore <laughs> when i hover i see it so if you hover you will see that so that is something you can't use unless you pay for it or you sign up for the educational um, version and then you'll have access to these so i just click and it goes in here Okay, and you can make it whatever size you want. I'm the kind of person who only likes to print off one set of props on one piece of paper, if at all possible, because especially if you are doing this online, it, you just have to hold it. The closer you hold it to the camera, the bigger it gets. So to me, I just like things to be like what I would call pocket size or easy to show. And then I saw these magic recommendations and I'm like, oh, there's my red fish. So then I click see all and there's my green fish. Okay, so there's my green fish. I here's a red fish. So you can pick all your different fish and stick them in there. You can now, if you don't like him facing this way, you can go up and flip him. You can have him face the other way. And then you can pick a yellow fish, whatever yellow fish you want. I'm going to, this one looks kind of fun. I have a different yellow fish in my downloads. So you could do this one or you could do this one, right? So you could add a fish. So you're adding your fish. You can make them whatever size you want. Oh, there's a purple one. I don't think I have a purple one. And then I picked, of course, Nemo because a lot of the kids know Nemo. So this would be my orange fish. Okay. So then I have my five fish in here. Once you have your fish in, then you can go up here to the download section. You're going to click on download. It's going to give you some options. So for this, because I want to print it, I'm going to pick PDF standard. All right. So I'm going to pick PDF standard and then I'm going to click on download. All right. So once we are in Canva and we've created those props, 
I saved them, as you remember, and I made them a PDF file. Then I print them out. But if I want it to last, I print it on cardstock. It gives it a little bit more depth, okay, and it like will hold up. All right, so here I have my first prop for bubble, bubble, bubble pop. So this is the fish theme. So what I do for the fish themed week, if it's just fish only, then we have a fish bowl. Okay, so I have um, five different colors that we're going to be using that I'm introducing to the kids for the week or that they already know we're just playing with the fish. Okay, so then I have all my colors. Now, I have a magnetic whiteboard, so if I want to use these on a white and anything magnetic, I can put a magnet on the back. If I want to use Velcro, I can stick a piece of Velcro here, piece of Velcro, you know, on whatever my background is, and I can Velcro it. Um, I personally like to use magnets. The ones I use are right here. I will also have a link for them down below in the description box, okay? So the reason I like these is they're small and they're super, super strong. So they usually stick through anything. So in here will be a bunch of magnets. This is my last box. I need to order more. Okay, and I do rotate things around. So if I want this to really last, I will actually um, laminate this. I have a laminator, but if I'm not really worried about, you know, laminating them and I'm just going to stick it on, I'm going to put the magnet on the back. Okay, all right, now I use just regular, oh, you can use scotch tape or you can use duct tape. So I have my duct tape. I'm going to tear off a piece of my duct tape. I have my magnet on the back, and then I put that on there, okay? So I put my tape on, and now I have my magnet taped on back, okay? So the reason that this is good, and then I'll just do my next fish, dun, 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 dun. okay? So here I go, I'm gonna take off a magnet. Ah, they're very strong, <laughs> very strong. All right, I'm gonna put it on here, <gasps> and you see that flip? All right, so I'm gonna get my tape. Okay, and you're probably like, why does it matter if you stack these? Because if you want to store them, if you wanna store them, they just snap together. Otherwise, they're, they're gonna repel each other, okay? They're gonna repel each other. So I have them all kinda of stuck together. And you can do this, or you can use popsicle sticks. If you have popsicle sticks, the kids can all, here. Like here's my popsicle stick. So I have popsicle sticks and you can have, the kids have popsicle sticks if they want them to have theirs too. If you are doing this in a regular class. I'm doing online and most of the time we're each using our imagination. So if the kids have something, oh, I'm down here. Sorry, I was down there. But how I would do this if I'm using it in my digital classroom is I have a whiteboard that's also uh, magnetic. So I would draw a fish bowl. Here's my bowl of water. Okay, our fish need to go in. Here's our first one. Oh, he's upside down. Oh, one red fish. All right, he's swimming. Can you do a fish? Can you swim? And then one red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One red fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 oh, pop. All right, so that's how I would do it with some 2D props if I was going to use them. And don't forget to subscribe because when you subscribe and hit that notification bell, it lets the YouTube algorithms and mighty, mighty people that are in charge of that know that we are having some interesting content that people are interested in and it will help us with our rankings. We really want to say again, thank you so much for watching and happy teaching. Goodbye.